everyone. We're back with the second half of our Pinspiration Turkey. I went ahead and used my Spellbinders die to cut out four scalloped circles. I stamped each one of them with a Hero Arts background stamp, and I embossed each one of them with some of the Clear Snap New Scents embossing powders. Um, they smell wonderful. I really love them, um, and they look so beautiful on the paper. The Snickerdoodle is by far the best smelling out of all of them. They should put Do Not Eat on the label. It's so good. So I have the two turkeys here that we cut out of the silhouette, and I spritzed one of them with the Cappuccino Perfect Pearls. Um, it gave it like a nice mottled effect and almost looked like rippled feathers on the side of a turkey. So what we're going to do now to make our scallops fit into our turkey is we are going to trim about one and an eighth inch off of each one of the bigger scallop circles. And for the smaller one, you want to just make sure that it, from top to base, it's about one and a half inches so that it flows nicely with the other three scallops. For the turkey, I decided to cut a half an inch off of the base of him, and I'll show you why. When you put the feathers into the back of him, the turkey should stand upright. He is a place card, and you want him to be able to stand at the place setting that you place him into. And um, with that longer bottom on the turkey, it just wasn't working. So what I did is you find the center of your scallop and cut a quarter of an inch, a half an inch up into it from the flat edge and then move your scissors over just a hair and make another small little snip and then pull that extra piece of paper out of the middle of it so that you have a slit that you can slide into the slit that's on the turkey so that it makes him balanced and it doesn't make that scallop circle wobble and you can see that it doesn't go far enough on the turkey with the long base so I cut that half an inch off and then stuck in the scallop and it stood up much better I actually went back with this red scallop and cut it just a hair more um, so that the feathers held him completely upright um, I didn't like him leaning to one side and I just snipped it a tiny bit so again go into the center of your scallop make a small slit and then move it over here, make another small slit, and pull that piece of paper out. And then just put all the feathers into the back of your turkey. And when you are done, you will have a beautiful turkey with a bunch of feathers. And on that red scallop, you can put their name and put it at the place setting. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the blog.